Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. Today it's just me. I've been feeling you guys. I feel so happy. I'm feeling so much better. I have more energy. Like I have not felt this good in a long, long time. So I'm really grateful for the second trimester. It's really delivering for me <laughs> right now. I feel energetic. I feel um, I feel so much more positive mentally too. I feel like I don't have a lot of worries like I did in my first trimester. Um, you guys, you know this is my second pregnancy, and um, I wrote down my goals. I've discussed my goals with my doctor, and they're all in the loop, and they're actually supporting me 100% on my goals. So one of my first goals, and one of the most important ones, at least to me is i do not want to gain any weight in this pregnancy i know that's kind of crazy but if you guys if any of you guys are plus size and you've been pregnant before you know that for for plus size women it's usually the opposite we usually either lose weight or we just like gain maybe like five to ten pounds um during pregnancy it's very hard for us to gain weight i don't know why i think maybe the weight just distributes itself and you just I don't know it's just the opposite most of the times but anyway huh? it's okay you're fine baby wait my doctor thinks it's okay if I gain about 10 to 15 pounds they think actually I have a couple doctors but they all think that um, it's okay if I gain about 10 to 15 pounds uh, they think it will be really good if I don't gain any weight and I've actually talked to I've actually brought up the point of what if I lose some weight you know and they say they will be okay for me to lose 15 pounds and not more than that because um, you know as long as I'm eating healthy and working out and just doing it that way they said it's okay it, it won't be a problem um, and actually that's one of the things I want to talk to you guys um, since I got pregnant I've lost 10 pounds I am honestly very excited about it my doctors are like oh that's pretty cool you know but I'm sure that as I progress in my pregnancy Anyways, I'm sure as I progress in my pregnancy that I I might gain some weight. I do not want to do that, but I'm sure in my third trimester I I have a little bit of a wiggle room between 10 to 15 pounds, so I'm not very worried about that. But my goal, I'm actually working, working really hard to not gain any weight through this pregnancy. But the funny thing is, you guys, I've lost 10 pounds, but I feel like I look bigger than I did before I got pregnant. <laughs> it's the weirdest thing, like weirdest thing but I've been told a lot of the times that usually when you're pregnant your weight distributes differently so you might appear bigger even though you weigh less on the scale so it's just weird but I um, just wanted to mention that also guys um, I don't know if I told you guys this or if any of you know this if you've been watching us for a long time um, I was pregnant with Solomon um, towards the end of my pregnancy I think I was just about uh, two weeks about two to three weeks from my due date, Solomon's head turned back up and he got breached. And when my doctor saw that, because I had an ultrasound uh, just to see if everything was going well, and my doctor actually noticed that Solomon's head turned back up. And I started panicking. My doctor was like, oh my God, how did this happen? Like, why did it happen? None of us knew why it happened. So I decided to go to my delivery place that I was supposed to give birth to Solomon and the, we tried to turn the baby the doctors tried so hard to turn the baby and we tried for like about 30 minutes and it was very painful it was very uncomfortable and I was told that if um, you know if there was a lot of pressure on the baby and me as the mommy trying to turn the baby I might get into labor and if I got into labor they had to take the baby out so it was very risky and I, I mean I did it anyway but but it didn't even work because instead of turning back down he just went sideways <laughs> the next step they had to do was go inside my vagina and turn the baby from from the inside you know and that was very very risky because if I went into labor Solomon had to come out that same day and he wasn't ready if I got into labor during that baby aversion I 
would have uh, got a c-section anyway so anyways it was just wise for me to get a c-section my doctor thought it was wise for me to get a c-section all the nurses everybody there just thought it was better that way so I got a c-section now this time around I talked to my doctors about trying to not have a c-section to have a, a v batch I actually don't know if that's the correct term for it but oh I should look up the term if it's not the correct time I'll write it down here so you guys know the correct time but what that means is um, it's a chance for moms to have a vaginal delivery after they've had a c-section for their first child um, my doctors think I'm eligible for it because uh, my c-section went really well and they're actually a hundred percent on board um, if the baby doesn't turn back up if I don't get a rich baby like I did the first time I think it would be wise for me to try the v -back. it took me a while to heal from Solomon's c-section and honestly I do not want to have to struggle to go through healing uh, a c-section with a toddler and a new baby so I just want to avoid that if I can you know of course if I can't avoid that then I mean there's nothing to do but also I want to record and film this journey guys for Solomon um, when I pregnant with Solo we didn't I did I don't remember if I did any vlogging I think we started vlogging when Solo was six months old and honestly I feel so bad because I missed out on those memories of like being pregnant with him and seeing how my belly progressed you know what I mean so sometimes I look back and I'm like oh my god I have so few pictures of when I was pregnant with Solo and like I can't I don't have all the memories of that period actually I'm so glad we started vlogging when he was six months because we could have missed out on all those memories too so I'm so glad that we're vlogging I'm so glad you guys are watching this content so yeah thank you thank you thank you so much um what else did I want to talk about I just remembered that in our pregnancy announcement we didn't tell you guys when the baby is due so the baby is due on April 24th, guys. April 24th, we are so excited. Solo is so excited. So every time I look at my baby center app, he's always like, mommy, I wanna see baby. Because they have like baby videos and how much baby's progressing. It's really, really cute. He's so excited. Oh my God, guys, I wanna mention too that yesterday at 17 weeks and four days, I was having breakfast and I felt the baby kick. I don't think that's actually the first time that I felt the baby kick. I felt the baby kick a couple times before, but I feel like that was for sure. Like there was no doubt in my mind that it was the baby kicking. You know, that that's was the front. And when I turn, that's when you see it a little popped out. Now you have to keep in mind guys, I had a belly before I got pregnant because as we all know, I'm a plus size woman. So of course, it's just like a, a hint, an hint enhanced belly sorry about the little like shh reflection but there's the baby moving you see that was actually 12 weeks pregnant so yeah okay. hope you guys enjoyed the video and don't forget if you guys are not subscribed please hit the subscribe button and hit your notification bell so you guys can be notified every time i put up a video and hit the thumbs up let us know if you guys are enjoying these videos yeah, and have a great rest of your week, guys. We love you, and we'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.